Oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Simply Sarissa. Today I am listing my top summer favorites. Now if you've watched my other videos before, I'm gonna run it very similar to my monthly favorites. It's gonna be five categories, which are household, food, clothing, beauty, and lifestyle. So I don't wanna waste any more time. Just make sure you hit like and subscribe before you go, and let's get right into my household item. First up is my Cuisinart ice cream frozen yogurt maker. Now this thing retails for anywhere from 50-ish dollars at Walmart to um, $80, but what I saw was Macy's and I believe Kohl's are having a sale right now. You can get them for like $69. And the only reason why you'd wanna spend more is because they actually have color options at Kohl's, Macy's, and some of those stores. So I have the older model, I just have the basic white, but so well worth the money. And what I love about it is, if you prep right and you keep it on hand, then you can have dessert in like 15 minutes. So that means if you have company coming over last minute, or you're just super tired, but you really want dessert still, if you have a few basic ingredients in your house and you keep this in your freezer at all times, you can have dessert like that. So I'm just gonna show you what I do. So this is a one and a half quart maker. So I always keep this in my freezer. And you do that because you don't need ice, you don't need salt, you don't need anything else. This is it. So I definitely make room for this in my freezer, keep it in there at all times. So when I need dessert, I just get my Cuisinart and maker out, put it on the counter, plug it in. You just set this on top, it just sits just like that. And then you get, here's my latest and greatest here. This stuff, if you just freeze these kind of like Welch's juices that have like a pretty high sugar content, if you can just use this with nothing else and you get this like instant Rita's frozen ice kind of style dessert and it's amazing. So this is what I'm doing right now because I'm just lazy and I don't want dairy and all of that good stuff. So you take your ice maker, you fill it up with as much as you need. So I'm just gonna make like maybe one quart. So I'll get my one cup thing and you start pouring. Now that I have it all full, I just take this little stopper and basically all this does is keeps the ice from forming and getting hard on the edges. Um, it just sits right in there. You put this on top, it kind of locks into place and you push start. And then in 15 minutes, voila, you have a frozen dessert. This is so good. From there, I just like to save these kind of like one quart containers that I get usually from the deli section at the grocery stores. You can also buy them at places like Smart and Final, but I save mine and then I fill it up and I have an instant quart of my favorite frozen dessert. And it can just, you can serve it that night fresh or put it in the freezer and keep it just like any ice cream or frozen yogurt. Now for the food category, I'm going to basically go with a drink. So matcha, I have bought matcha powder and I keep this with me because I am obsessed with those green tea iced lattes that you can get at like Starbucks or you know your local coffee house. But of course, I always like to do it at home because then I can control the ingredients and I can control the calorie content. And of course, it's just for convenience. I don't wanna go outside right now. <laughs> so I've been purchasing this matcha um, green tea powder. This says May Den, it's a Japanese matcha powder. And then you wanna grab some of this. So you can buy sugar-free versions if you are needing sugar-free for any reason. Um, I got the small one at my local grocery store. Of course, you can get the bigger Tarani syrup, but the vanilla works best for me for this because I basically like to make the copycat version of that like sweet foam that Starbucks makes. Um, and then I put it on top of my iced matcha latte. So let's make that now. So I just grab a jar and I grab, I don't know, approximately a teaspoon, maybe a little less of my matcha powder. I dump it into the glass that I'm going to be drinking out of. And then I add a little bit of boiling water because I want to kind of um, make sure that this definitely dissolves a little bit. So I do that and I sort of make like a matcha concentrate. And then I take my handy dandy little spinner that I've talked about a million times. I'm going to leave all the links to these types of things below and anything I talk about, of course, in the description box. But um, what I do is I just basically blend it up to get it as good as I can with the matcha. I start adding ice because I want to get that cooled off as soon as possible. And I basically just fill up my cup with ice. 
And then from here, you can kind of take it on your own. I've been using oat milk lately because I'm just really not doing dairy very much. So I fill it up um, most of the way. I'll let do that for you here. I fill it up most of the way with my oat milk. And so that definitely kind of lightens it up and isn't that so pretty? I love how that looks. So I do that with the oat milk. And then I already have some of my mixture in here. I believe the like real dupe for the uh, sweet cream foam, I believe it is a mixture of half and half heavy cream and then some of this syrup. But again, I, you know, it's not rocket science. If I don't have one or the other, I just sort of wing it. So you get just a little bit if you're gonna just make a single serving and then you can be as heavy handed with this as you want. You can also add a little of the vanilla into here and stir it if you want, but I just don't. So then after I have my little mixture, I take my little blender again and I just get this foam like nice and kind of light and airy. Okay, once it's about doubled or tripled in size, I add it to the top of my latte. And it sort of blends in, but that's what I love about it because then it adds that extra creaminess to it. Um, again, like I said, you can make it non-dairy, you can make it lactose-free, you can do whatever you want with your milks and your half and half and your heavy creams. And then I add my straw and I have my instant latte green tea without having to go anywhere. All right, next up in the fashion department, I am going to bring out my most tried and true bag. And um, the reason why I think that it should be a favorite, especially right now, is because it is summertime. We are all able to travel a little bit more, but also because the anniversary sale at Nordstrom's is coming up. And this is where I purchased this a few seasons ago. This is called the Le Pliage bag. It's the Longchamp brand. And um, the one that I got was so special to me because if you can see it close, it has like a zipper line right here. So I can actually unzip this and make this particular bag even bigger if I want to. So they don't always carry this at Nordstrom, but if they do, I highly recommend you think about getting that because this thing, it's just, so lightweight, it is amazing. You can get them in basically every single color option that you can think of, including patterns and prints. It is this like wonderful nylon, indestructible material. And I, of course, had to go with the black because, I mean, it's not my favorite color or anything, I guess. Um, but then it has a full zip on it. And that's what I love about this, especially for travel, because you, when, especially if you're in the airport or in the car or whatever, and you have a bigger bag, if they fall over and you have like other kind of like those um, MCM or Neverfulls or, you know, those other types of bags that are open-ended, Michael Kors and whatnot, they oftentimes when they fall over, everything dumps out. And so I like one that has the zip option. And even if I don't have the time to fully zip it, it has still the snap option. Even better, you can fold this bag up and it has a little snap on the back. So if you're traveling and you need this just to go in the bottom of a suitcase, you don't want it maybe for the first leg of your trip, but you're gonna need it for the way back. This thing folds up incredibly. I don't wanna take the time to do it right now. And then the little um, original flap goes over the top and you have this like tiny little square of a bag that fits in your suitcase. Unbelievable. Now they average um, maybe one to two hundred dollars depending on the size that you get. You can also get smaller options for less money. But again, this is the size I love. Now the second uh, round with that is that I need to talk about organization. So if you are going to carry this bag a lot and maybe it's not just to be used for travel and you want to use it like as a purse or day to day kind of a bag, you know, I carry this all the time. It weighs nothing. What I invested in, and this is my second version now, is um, an organizer, a purse organizer from Amazon. Now, the first one I got was a nylon one. I did a video on it a few years ago, and it was beautiful, it worked well, but the nylon ended up ripping eventually, and there was just no way I could repair it. So this time I went with the um, felt version, and I think they're so great. You can get different sizes depending on which style of bag. Um, I'll leave the link below to the one that fits in my Le Pliage bag. I believe this one also fits into some of the like higher end bags like a Louis Vuitton and those types of things. Um, but this one's incredible. I got the red, you can get lots of different color options. It does have like these little outside pockets so you can slip things in. It has all this internal 
pocket area. But I love this one because look at it. It bends that way too, so it's not super boxy if you don't want it to be. And uh, But you can make it boxy if you need it. And then um, it just has all these little slots. It even has like a water bottle holder. These things are awesome. So let me drop it in the bag and show you. It fits in this bag with plenty of room to spare. I still have plenty of room on the top if I wanted to throw say like a um, pashmina or something on top. If my water bottle wanted to go straight in, it could have plenty of room to stand up. And then there's room on the side if you wanna slide in like a small laptop or even like an iPad or something. Still have so much room and it also gives a little bit more structure to your bag. Love this. And I've just been, I pulled this out probably three weeks ago and I just haven't looked back. I've been using it again over and over again as my purse. I love it, so that's why it's definitely a summer favorite. Now for the beauty and skincare section, I actually have a couple of favorites and a fail, and they are all sunscreen related because let's face it, this is the time we are slathering ourselves in sunscreen, or at least we should be, right? So one of my tried and true favorites is this CeraVe Sheer Tint Face Sunscreen, and um, it says it is got three essential ceramides and niacinamide in it, and it's a broad spectrum SPF 30. The reason why I love this, there are several, but it is a mineral-based sunscreen and I do have to use that when I start to use the other non-mineral-based ones then I start to get breakouts and reactions. I've already flown through a whole bottle of this um, because I do put a lot on every day. And I love that it's tinted because mineral sunscreens oftentimes leave like a huge white cast or you have to rub them in for like three hours before you can get some of that white cast off. Because they're tinted, there's a lot less of that going on. And actually this face tint um, actually works really well with my skin tone. So I, in a pinch, I kind of use this as like a CC cream. I use it and when I do that though, of course, I do have to put a little bit of powder on my T-zone and whatnot because it is definitely a hydrating mineral sunscreen. So you are going to get that shine. Um, don't go into this thinking that, you know, it's going to just blend in and be 100% seamless. You are going to have like a very glowy look if you use it, but it's so good and it averages about $13 to $16 uh, per container. But because it's CeraVe, it actually is on sale all the time. It's on sale right now at Ulta for like buy one, get one 40% off, something like that. Um, so you can always get these good deals at your you know local store. I'll put a couple links below and it also is 1.7 ounces. So even for $14, the way that I use this, it's a really good deal and I put it on my face every single day. With that, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw my one fail of the video in and it is this Well People Bio Tint Multi Action Face Moisturizer. I bought this because I was hoping that it would kind of act similar to this or even go a step further and be like a CC cream or um, a really lightweight uh, like base for my face to use as makeup. Unfortunately, this is a huge fail for me, which I'm sad because there are other Well People products that I use. I love their powder actually and I use it every day. But this one, it does come with that little um, squeezy tube with the pump on the end. What I did notice when I first purchased it, I went to squeeze it out and this like oily gunk shot out. So I didn't realize like you can technically shake it and you definitely need to. Um, but when I put it on, I'm not even gonna put it on my face because I just am so unhappy with it. Um, it does come out in a little squirt container and you might wanna wipe that off So if, if you are gonna use it. So as you can see that it does come in um, a few different shade options. I'm trying to see the one I got. I can't see it at the moment, but it does come in a few different shade options. And it is a thick goopy stuff. So you can see that right there on my hand. But my problem with it is, is A, it kind of smells funny. It almost smells stale. It almost has this like, I, it almost turned smell. So maybe I got an old one and that's the problem. I don't know, but let me know in the comments below if you've used this and it does have a funky smell. It's just like a little bit off putting. And then it's very thick, but the problem is when I rub it in, it instantly starts to feel a little bit sticky and goopy. And so when I'm rubbing it around my eyes, cause I put my sunscreen and stuff all the way around my eyes, it actually pulls and I'm kind of pulling at my skin and tugging at it. And it dries down really quickly to this kind of sticky, I don't know if you can see it, it's blending in okay on my hand. Um, it was a pretty good shade match actually for me, uh, which makes me more sad. But it just has that thicker, stickier feeling and it does not feel good when I rub it on my face. My CeraVe one just rubs in seamlessly and I don't feel like I'm pulling and I don't want to be pulling on my skin. 
not to mention the price. This stuff is like $30 and I believe you get only 1.2 ounces. So if I were going to kind of have to compare these two, I would definitely go for this. It's less than half the price and you get more product and it feels a little bit easier on your skin and it has the ceramides and all the goodies in it too. All right, our last item is lifestyle. Now, this is a little bit of a different one, but really what I'm going to do is tell you about another YouTuber that you should definitely check out. She goes by the name Clutterbug. Now, I'm super late to this game, and if, I, if you've been hiding under a rock like I have, then you maybe have never heard of her. She actually has her own HGTV show, and I think a new one is coming up soon. She's amazing. She came up with this system. You take this super quick free quiz and she tells you basically what style of organizer that you are. And they're in like four categories. I think they're bugs. So basically what it came down to was I took the quiz just on a whim. I found her through another YouTuber called Minimal Mom and her system is so spot on. Apparently, I'm a ladybug. Now, you could not be a ladybug, you could be one of the other bugs, but it is a game changer, especially if you're frustrated in your home all the time. Meaning, you like the idea of organizing things, but you just can't seem to figure out what works for you, and the systems you've tried seem to fail over time. So basically, as a ladybug, she says that I am a macro organizer, meaning I don't want to get into the details I want to be able to like throw it in a bin and move on it also means that I like visual clarity like I want everything to look minimal when you walk into my home I don't want to see a lot of stuff or clutter but don't open my closets and drawers because I will literally hide or shove anything in any closed space to make sure that you don't see it and that I don't see it I cannot tell you how accurate she is. I, I almost want to open my pantry and show you what she means by this, and but I'm not going to because it's too embarrassing. My pantry is a disaster. But what she has given me the tools to do is figure out that I need bin storage. And when I thought about it, I thought she's 100% right. So these are, and this is true, like before I watched her, these are like all of the vitamins and supplements that I take every day. Well, they were so annoying to me and they were all over the counter. Well, I didn't have space to put them in a cupboard, so I literally grabbed the nearest thing that I could find in another closet, which would happen to be this basket. And I chucked everything in the basket and stuck the basket in the corner of my kitchen. That changed everything for me because now it's like they're all in one spot, they're all contained, they are absolutely not organized to a lot of other people, but to me, I know where they are and I don't have to look at every single jar. So that is the game changer for me. I am now in the process of buying like bigger bins and deciding what needs to be organized and just I'm gonna have bins to chuck everything in. Now again, she has other styles, so I just listed mine. You definitely wanna check her out. I'm going to put her YouTube channel and the link to her quiz uh, in the description box below. It literally takes like just maybe two minutes to do the quiz. So anyway, I hope you um, have a chance to go and support her. And I'll also put the Minimal Moms um, YouTube channel below as well just to thank her because she's the one that I kind of like rabbit trailed and ended up finding the clutter bug. All right, everyone, thank you so 